out. Started hopping out on locals, and I became close to a lot of the people I was hopping out, and it eventually started taking me places I never thought it would take me. So definitely ask how you can get started. I think the FGC is the easiest out of all esports to get started, rather than something like CSGO or Overwatch, where like I feel like you have to create content, and then it'll lead you to get started. And in in, you'll start to get noticed with more content you create. But we could talk about esports, getting started, uh, getting started in esports later. Let's go on to this. Uh, I was scared for a second. I didn't know who this was, but uh, Eon and Nico. I just saw them earlier too. Very, very bad at me. Up, oh, I was say, this is either an up air or a neutral air. I thought I saw the up air, but Nico is not going to drive that up air. That was really, really, really interesting to see as a concept too. I know Nico likes to like fish out concepts with characters every now and then in the stream. Missed four smash. At this point for Elon, since he's got Nico at the ledge, it all depends on how well he can do to mislead Nico and consistently egg trap him for his kind of options. Like so. If he plays the close range game, he can do forward tilt. If he spaces himself out properly, he can do up smash, up tilt, back air. It all depends on how well he wants to have Nico in the receiving end. Back air will do it there, 91%. This is definitely a matchup, like I said, I would love to see Nico just go show and clean up house, but hey. He wants to make Boleth work, and so far he's gotten this far with the character. He knows what the character lacks and what he can't do. Forward Smash at the ledge is really good because it has a sticking hitbox. The tipper, even if he doesn't get the tipper, it's still really good to catch Wolf on the recovered because Wolf does take a little bit of while and he does extend his hitbox when he goes out for Wolf Fire. So that's really good for him to go to Forward Smash, but the forward air was not a great call. Yeah, up smash will do it. Catches Eon trying to land in center stage a little bit too often. I think that's one thing we've been seeing from Eon all night tonight. Uh, landing center stage. Dash tag. Forward tilt. Nice. Good play there. 51% off. Already on a Nico. Full up throw. Nice. Quick set to the back air. 81%. Yo, man. Eon says if Charlie can't be here, I will be wolf for him. Rest in peace, Charlie. Man. That man has been sick for like the past two weeks. Somebody go wish Charlie a uh, feel better. Yep, caught the roll in. And the up air, that'll do it there. And they're gonna run it back. Nico waves the finger, man. Run it back with that good song track. Eon, game one in his hands. This is one of our semis here, so it's best of five. Do I predict the Shulk change? Possibly. It's actually a 50 50 chance. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's gonna happen right away. It's a possibility. Shoutouts to, uh, I believe that is, yeah, YMC in the background. Always, always training. Always, always trying to learn matches and stuff. Also, my favorite thing about Nico and Eon is they're, they're just huge weeps. <laughs> they're not afraid to like flaunting either. Uh, they, they love their anime very, very much, and they're very much into like a lot of it. So. They make anime seem, they make being a weep feel cool. They're into that. <laughs> Anyways, back throw here. Nico looking to set up the edge guard in that situation. Neutral air is really good for the way that Nico's using it too, because even though it doesn't auto cancel, the landing hitbox can catch Eon off guard, leading into various aerials like back air, dash attack, or another neutral air at certain percents. It all depends on the character and the weight here. A good rapid jab puts Eon off the stage. Nico felt this one here with the stock and 43%. Ladies and gentlemen, he finds the first lead of the set. Good MP hop to the floor, throw it to the dash tech. Okay, I have no idea what I'm saying here. Nico did an excellent play here to get 22% forward air, yep. That is true off the down throw, usually to about early to m roughly mid percents. I would say about 30 to 40 is when it's not possible. Then you might have to full hop it or double jump it. It all depends on your opponent. And it doesn't become as true. Nice neutral air, dash tech, yep, I mentioned how that connects. Back throw, nice. Burns the jump here and he's able to make that low recovery. On the return to stage, I like the forward tilt attempt, but the good up smash because he saw Eon maybe trying to land an area. Could this be a return to return against Eon? How, how Nico felt last game? Let's see how that goes. Ah, uh, tough one on there. 2 1 on the stock. Nico went for down tilt because he can connect to a neutral air but, or another up air, and it is a kill confirm as I mentioned earlier in the screen. You guys heard. Nice there. Like I mentioned, it connects to other aerials, but Nico doesn't find one there. Typically, back air is the one that I usually uh, see it connect more often. Nice. Empty Hot gets the grab. I like that Nico slowly waited for the tech chase. Doesn't overcommit there, though, because he knows he wants to keep Eon at the ledge as much as possible. It's Eon's turn to have a chance at the ledge, but he caught Eon slipping with the nair. Can he get this hit here? 
I like the way he's using down tilt. I would I would have predicted the forward smash just because like oh that's a kill friend. Yep. No, 127, alright. Critical hit was in play, but it wasn't enough. I saw the up smash slowly charging. Eon strikes back here, gets the dash attack. He knows, alright, nice catches the landing there from the down air. But empty hops, good drift back in there. That would have been an opportunity here to kind of catch Nico on the return either way. Oh that was very possible. I'm surprised I've seen it, but I know I've seen it a couple times here. No surprise. Up throw. I like how Eon kind of set himself to be in a position where he was trying to read Nico on the center stage landing. Now Eon is, Eon is slowly turning it up to 11 here, 77%. Nico was the one with the lead, but one thing that Violet has a slow range. I was just saying, not even slow range, just slow aerials, but the tipper four air will finally do it. I felt like that was a shield poke. I didn't quite see how that situation played at the last second, but good stuff to Eon slowly bringing it back. Most damage just snowballs, and it snowballs into the stock. And like, that was really good the way that Eon played too, like I mentioned earlier. He did a really excellent job of going for up throw, waiting to see how Nico was going to respond, and then react to the tech chase scenario, or react to how if Nico was going to go for center stage, or retreat to the ledge. That's usually what you see from a lot of players. Careful on how you react to things, because a lot of players, if you opt to land on center stage, you do risk getting juggled. But if you land off stage, which you avoid getting juggled, it sets your opponent up to get an edge guard on you. Order? Yep. Oh, nice. Bat within, able to come back off the stage. Order? Nice. But still, once again, bat within. Nice, good spot dodge into the loop trailer. Nice, he knows up air will not connect anymore. Sorry, forward air will not connect. Up air, yep, that'll do it. And she still lives at 115, but the next one might actually do it if Nico's able to find that delta top air. Nice, using arrows a little bit to kind of close the space here. They do have a little bit of L lag, so Eon can rush in. Up air, nice, no death yet. Bale does have a trouble killing the, the ultimate. The one thing that Bale is able to do against the Violet though is just be able to rack up damage with good pace. Oh, this is death, yeah. Able to rack up damage with good pace. No, still living at 117. Okay, I never mind, I lied. Downer, yep. At that high percent, if he didn't, I think it's uncheckable. Forward throw, yep. This is either a neutral or a back row away. It all depends on how Elon is able to get it. Up to neutral air, almost gets an upper. Really good opportunity here. Forward air, no bat within yet again. Oh, close to the upper, but finally, Neon gets a lucky break here. I'm gonna say lucky break. Finally, just gets a break here. The back air will do it at that high percent. Oh, nice. We'll take him for a ride here. 48%. Violet does have the weight where she actually gets combo pretty well. And not only that, Violet has terrible landing options there, so it's really tough. It's all about if Nico is able to uh, air dodge or jump away in time to avoid Violet. Nice good empty hop. I think Nico's been getting really excellent with those empty hops with Violet, too. He has to go low, yep. Because he knows if he had burned the jump a second earlier, that neutral would have caught him and would have given Eon the stock here. Forward air, charge the arrow, wait for the opportunity, a little bit of the neutral here, footsies, if you will. Good wait. This is a good back air. This is Eon's edge guard here. Nice, goes in with the full up air, and you go off the stage. At that situation, the up special would have not grabbed the ledge, yeah, the way he was positioned. I've seen it grab walls, but I've never seen it grab the under of stages. The under, I would say the under belly stages. Wow, that was a sniper. I've never seen one. This man 360 knows go from off a rust. Takes his man for a small ride. 30%. Down tilt. This is good from Eon here. 58%. Go up the out of shield. Yep. I think I think definitely Bayonetta has one of the, it's still a great up the out of shield. It's really hard to challenge it. So you kind of have to respect it when she goes for up specials on a shield. Back 
back air. Oh, nice. I mean, full hop. It's got you on a little bit more at the ledge. Nice. Caught this man jumping on the platforms. Good use of Afterburner King to kind of go back up on the stage. Character may be pretty much dead, but you know what kind of tools he has up there. Not it just yet. The next one, it's going to be death. Okay, closely walk, walking away. Go looking for space in here. Burns the jump to kind of avoid getting hit by Bandana once more, but then, whoa, crossed over back air, and that's going to be Tipper and putting up Nico 2 1 against Eon. Power Eon, man, go Fox! <laughs> by the slow, she'll suffer to a character like Fox. It's only up our city, like you're able to just zone break into into Byleth. But also like once again, because you have Fox Fire and Side B, you will get punished really well, so it's kinda like a 50-50. It all it's all depends on how Eon feels in the matchup here, but Eon is gonna go Pokemon Trainer, the ability to go all three ranges between close range, mid-range, and heavyweight. Pretty good choice. And honestly, Phil the Pokemon Trainer is definitely uh, a top ten character. That's my choice, man. I don't, don't want to have you guys tell me, like, uh, so and so top player says this character is 15, not 20. Now, nah, I just personally feel this game. Character look at uh, Tweak at Evo, second place. And also got him third place at uh, Frostbite. So. But that's just Tweak, man. He makes a lot of characters on there. And him and Leo. So we'll see how things go here for Eon. Nice. Jumping up the Lunch Air. Gets the back air. Up air. Nice. Oh, that was 6%. Eon pretty much has the lead here, so he's doing an excellent job of just fully crossing up Nico. The reason why he's able to cross up... Oh, that was close. Yep. Those cross up back guys are really good, too, because he moves himself away. No, up air. He moves... Yo, tip of dash tag? Excuse me. That's going to be fourth throw. Yep. He can go for a flamethrower, but I would see it as, yeah, only a good option to cover neutral get up. I wouldn't even see it covering much. The thing about up special to side B, too, is it, to me, it feels really inconsistent, but I've seen a lot of players get it. It's all about if you're able to read the way your opponent is facing after up special. Nice. Caught him going for an aerial. Back throw, that'll do it. Yo, man, the squirrel just chucked but the teacher out of the classroom. He said, it's a weekend, no homework, please. Oh, okay, nice. I would have saw, if you saw an upbeat, that would have been a nice finisher. Wouldn't have done much but put Nico off the stage, but great percent either way. Nice double jump there, mixing it up. That's what I was saying earlier. Nico's been doing a really good job of mixing his aerials to kind of mix the timing on Eon. And his opponents as well in general. Nice. Eon also take a page of that. He knows I gotta mix up my timing as well if I wanna come back on stage. Up by City. Nice. Back in Ivysaur. Oh, close to the back air. Eon's been doing a really good job of getting avoiding a lot of Nico's aerials. Up air, that'll do it. But. And Eon come back on the stage. I would have said that's better to land from below because you also have a tether. But like I said, you know, only Eon knows what he's thinking here. Close to the back air there. Tether back air would have definitely taken the stock. It's equal, especially that part of the ledge. Charizard's so strong. A lot of heavy is strong in general. Close to the nair, but nice. Good switch from Eon. Ivysaur, can you get the edge guard here? Close. Ivysaur does have a little bit of a wine exit, and the way that he's facing himself is so kind of close enough to get it. Oh, doesn't get the rapid jab. Tries to go for a gentleman grab into a grab. Should have been jab. <laughs> gentleman jab into grab. Up a smash, I'll do it. Great range. Really good opportunity, really good option from Charizard out of shield, especially the Punisher sure opponent's laggy moves or a possible cross up. Good mixing up from Eon. Love him using the double jump to slowly come back on the stage. Has to be careful. He can be sniped at that 107. Squirrel is a top three like character, and that's why he will die here. Nico takes his winner semis 3 1, ladies and gentlemen.